Hello and welcome to episode 81 of my Stellar Tactics tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on visiting the Kawaka system, placing a beacon in preparation for TradeNet coming online, which the developer mentioned in this latest update, and boy it sounds cool, and also placing my drones because I collected them up after they finished mining in uh, the Botahook system. Um, so yes, the more so I'm, this, the, what I'm going to do from now on is visit systems with trading stations so I can place beacons in them systems plus I'm going to place mining drones um, and that way when TradeNet, uh, when the developer has finished working on TradeNet and it, we can then use it the more beacons you have obviously the more systems that will become online for your trading, your trade network and so the idea is I'm going to go throughout lots of different systems placing lots of beacons that way when the developer has finished uh, the trade net and it's online I'll be able to demonstrate it with a nice big network of um, beacons so that's the plan we'll see how we get on so here we are let's enter the system there's not many planets but there is an outpost So I'm not going to set the timer, it'll take as long as it takes to place the beacons, the mining drones and have a bit of fun, maybe a bit of space combat. Maybe it'd be short episode, maybe it'd be medium, we'll see. Right, okay, let's shields first. I nearly got my butt kicked in another system that I was visiting got my armor down to about there boy that was a close one right so let's first of all go to the nearest jump point and place a beacon yeah reminds me of elite the days of elite going around and trading I loved elite that was a beautiful game just like this is a beautiful game uh, right, let's speed things up, do a micro ball. Oh, mining drones still carrying on. I'd left two mining drones in the Botahook system, the rest had finished. So I've also bought more mining drones with the money I've been making. So it's getting cool. I think I've nearly got the. I've got about 17 now. So you maximum you can have, remember, is 20. So I'm not far off now, having the max amount of mining drones, which is cool. Right. So remember to when you get no near to the uh, jump point, this little icon appears, and if you click on that, it not only brings up the list of your current beacons that you have placed but you can place another beacon so let's place one there we go beacon placed so I can now translocate back here quickly but the main reason is of course I can now trade within this system oh mining skill just went up how cool and I didn't even do anything apart from place a trade beacon right okay let's start scanning these planets Seeing it, seeing if I can place my mining drone. This is just getting stellar tactics. Is this getting so unbelievably cool? The developer is a genius. What can I say? He really is creating the game of our dreams. It's fantastic. Exciting times to be playing Stellar Tactics, definitely. Right, okay, we can scan that. Oh, no surface locations. Well, I hope I can place my mining drones. Right, let's try the next planet. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? Right, let's scan that. All oh, right, so that has something I can mine. So we select it and the drone. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, all right. Let's scan that. Any chance to scan is good. Right, so that planet's done. Let's move to the next one. Or oh, is that it? Yeah, that, I believe, is it. Okay, so... Wow, really? Only two planets? Okay, well, in that case, I guess I will end this episode. Um, oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe a bit of fighting. Okay, that's cool. It's a shame, though. I've only placed one mining drone. Oh, I'll have to come back to it, this system. Okay. Let's scan them and head towards them. Cool, this has got some armaments on it. Alright, that's micro warp. Yeah, so in every episode now, I'm not only going to place the mining drones, but place a beacon. And so I'm only going to be visiting systems for the foreseeable future with trading stations in them. Maybe do a little combat. Earn a bit of extra money. Right, let's get my shield in first and then my turrets and attack nice as well doing this because I get my faction up every time I have a space fight. My first aim goal is to get to friendly with someone. I'm really no mates at the moment. I haven't got a single friend in the whole universe. Oh look at that, piloting skills improved. And for that reason as well, to improve my crew's skills. And make a bit of money. All right, not a lot of money, but still, look at that. It's all good, as they say. Right, I'll end this episode here. In the next episode, we'll go visit another new system and place down another beacon. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.